Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. With me today is the new head coach of the men's golf program here at Troy University, Forrest Schultz. Thanks for joining me today. Glad to be here. And as we talked about, you're the new men's golf coach here at Troy, uh, an opportunity to take a program that has a lot of history here. Uh, but before we get into you and the new program, let's talk about your history okay. and how you got here. Sure. I am a Division II coach at Henderson State University prior to coming here. I played collegiate golf at Henderson, graduated from Henderson, had the opportunity to go back and uh, help that program out. We weren't very great when I played, and that was kind of my whole passion to get into college coaching. So I had a vision early, and fortunately, uh, guys and girls, because I did both there, took to it really well, and we, we had a lot of success, won a lot of championships, won a lot of tournaments along the way, and ultimately uh, gave me the opportunity to come here to Troy. And of course, you talk about that, the championships. Yeah. Uh, and there's a, a number of, of conference championships and including an appearance in the national championships, right? Correct. Give us kind of the list of your of some of those accomplishments you had. Sure, this I think there. between the two teams, we had 25 regular season wins. I was there for eight years. Uh, one year we, we got cut off because of COVID like everybody else. Um, we had in that time, seven conference championships, five in a row on the guy's side, two on the girl's side. Um, between both teams, we never missed NCAA regional and our girls broke through to nationals um, a few years ago for the first time in program history. So it, it's a lot managing both teams at a high level, but it, it was a lot of fun as well. And of course, you talked about you played there and got to come back and coach. And that's something that a lot of people don't get that opportunity to do. Right. You, know, you, you put your playing days behind you and you, you know, your connections, your, you maybe you know go to events at the university or something like that. Yeah. But what is it like being able to go back and coach at a place that you graduated from? At that time, it was exciting because I knew that when I was there, we never quite got what we wanted out of the program. And so I knew uh, there was opportunity to grow as well to other clubs and places to play. And I had a real vision of how we could do it. And it, it just so happened to work out. And then when the sport came along, they were able to build a, a great facility down there as well. And so that really kind of steamrolled everything along with it. But I, I think it's just from college, those, those last years of not being as competitive as we wanted to be, and having the opportunity to go back was very exciting. So always going to be grateful to Henderson for giving me the start and everything. Really. That opportunity. And, uh, yeah. But let's talk a little bit about making the jump from two to one uh, and, and what kind of expectations you have and, and, and what are you thinking about the differences in, in the level of competition, level of play, and, and how, how you can kind of cope with that. Right. So the level of competition is always going to be higher mm -hmm. in Division One. There's better caliber athletes are around. But, you know, where we competed at Henderson in that top 10, top 15 in the nation, that was a very small but high caliber group. So I think I'm, I've got an idea of what it's going to take here for sure. Um, with the facilities that we have here, it, it's just a no-brainer to be able to bring in great, great athletes here, honestly. And, and that's one of the things where – one would think that, I guess, in the spectrum of sports, yeah. golf may be the one where there's a little bit more parity right. because it's more of an individual sport. So you're dealing with the, the individual athlete. So there could be a little bit uh, a less of a jump between between two and one in that regard. So. Correct. Yeah. And, and it's just it's one of those deals where I think if you can coach down there successfully from two, it's easy to come up to one. Um, you know, you don't have to it's golf's great because you don't have to be six foot seven and, and jump so high and run so fast. You, you know, a lot of little guys and all sorts of shapes and sizes get it done. And so uh, being able to identify and develop is something I think I'm good at. And I'm excited to do that here. And of course, uh, now you get to, to focus on just a men's team. You, yeah, you've exactly. had a lot more responsibilities yeah. at, your, at your old program. So it's a little bit more focus there. Yeah, so. that could be the most exciting thing for me is to finally put all my attention into one team. It was definitely difficult to do it. Um, especially there, I had a GA, which was great help all the time, but to, to have 22 players, two different diversity styles of play, um, and try to keep them at a high level was tough. So I always wanted to get into the men's coaching um, for a single team, and so that was a huge draw as well. And now, you know, I just can't wait to invest everything into that men's program. I think it's going to be special. And now you've had a, an opportunity to, to come and, and be here at Troy and right. see things. And one of the things is the facility. Obviously, yeah. a lot of uh, time and money and effort has been put into improving the golf facility here in the past few years. First impressions of, of what Troy's offering there. Uh, it's, I'm just thinking, how soon can I get players down here to see it? <laughs> you know, it's beautiful, breathtaking. Uh, the history, the support, you know, that was overwhelming as well, the support of alumni and really the community and how, how much passion there is for golf. That, that's exciting, but yeah, it's gonna be great to bring in some recruits on campus, walk them through those doors, walk them out on that golf course and just say, 
this is us every day. Nobody else is out here but the men and the women. You have an opportunity to grow. And that's what players are looking for. They're looking for a place where they can practice like that at a high level because ultimately they're going to have dreams, hopefully, of playing at the next level. And so they need those tools and those resources. And to have a draw of a facility of this magnitude is huge. Now, it's, it's fairly early after your announcement here as we're taping this, but have you had a lot of chance to interact with your players yet and mm -hmm. had an opportunity we to have. do that? We yet? did a Zoom call on Thursday, and fortunately I got here um, – sorry, we did that Wednesday. I got here on Friday morning, and since then I've seen seven of the 12 guys in person. Um, the other guys just are living too far away. One's international, but uh, we're all communicating. We're all on the same game plan. I can really tell those guys are excited. They're really hungry to kind of change the narrative. Um, to get a fresh start and get things rolling. So they, they're, they're excited. And you got a team and you already got your eye towards, towards the future too, which talking about already trying to get recruits in here to see this facility and get that. So, so obviously you've got a game plan on what you want to try to do here. Absolutely. Today, June 15th is the day we can start calling some new PSA. So that's exciting. And, and yeah, the first thing I'm thinking of is, is how soon after that, that first date can we get players and families down here and just show them what we have and then uh, get really competitive recruiting and get some great kids down here. Well, uh, good luck in getting those new recruits here and working with the current team and, and uh, taking the uh, men's golf program to some championship levels yourself. Yeah. So th thanks, thanks for so joining much. us today. And thank Appreciate you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.